Hey everybody, uh, welcome to this technology teacher tutorial where I help you bring technology into the classroom. In this video, I'm going to explain this screen right here, so the revision, revision history screen in Google Slides, how you can access it to see what students did what work and when they did it, how to restore things, and so on. So follow along. So if we look right here, let's just say I have a random PowerPoint presentation, um, this one happens to be about the joyful mysteries, and then I have this giant piece of pizza. Let's say that um, I didn't put it there. I'm wondering who put it there. So like if, if students were complaining or they said something happened. In order to check out your revision history, you're just going to click File, and then you're going to go down to the bottom where it says See Revision History. It's right here. Go ahead and click that. And then we'll talk about all the different functions in here. It shows my first ever time I worked on this Google Slide presentation was October 9th. So then I can see um, that it was blank at that point. And then I made these edits at this point. And then this is here. But then I can look at the most recent one and I can see, oh, that's when the pizza was brought in. And I can see that I made the edits to it. But you know, that would change based on whoever's making the edits. So. You can also restore. So let's say I wanted to get rid of this. I can restore this version. And now my presentation no longer has the pizza. And so for example, if a student accidentally deleted a slide and you needed to help them go back and restore that slide, you would just go to File, Revision History, and then you would go and you'd find whatever edits. But let's say um, like we have this pizza one. You can restore that. So you can restore ones that you just went past. Or let's say I wanted to go all the way back to this blank one. I could restore that and now it's back to zero. However, your revision history has everything. So it even has you know, the changes I made before this. So I can go back and I can change things. But it's really great to see uh, making sure all students are contributing equally, seeing who's putting in what amount of work, and to help students restore deleted files. I hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box. Otherwise, I am signing out, and I'll see you guys next time.